This is normally how I sell my Hobie Tandem Island on lakes or offshore. I've had a few questions about the cell riser or some people call it a roll bar. In this video clip I'll show you all the parts that are needed to put one together. It's pretty simple. All you need is a saw and a tape measure and a bunch of uh, inch and a half PVC pipe. After watching several videos on roll bars and googling some images on roll bars for Hobie Island and Tandem Island, I decided to go ahead and put one together. It's pretty simple. As you can see on this roll bar, I have six T's, two 20 degree joints, two 90 degree joints, and one coupling more for added strength where the double block is attached also that's another thing the double block a little oversized but makes for some very smooth working of the sheet of the main sheet when adding the link between the two T's at this point to add a rod holder basically uh, even for a ridiculously large reel you want to make sure this piece here is wide enough so the handle will clear the side of the boat. The original purpose of this roll bar or cell riser is to keep the main sheet off of your head. As all the AI and TI owners know, this sheet line goes directly from the corner of the aft part of the cell right down to here and normally hooks up down here putting that line right across your face every time you try to tack. It's especially bad if you've added an aftermarket seat like I have here. I got tired of sitting in a pool of water. So threw a get together a bunch of PVC pipe and voila. This aftermarket seat that I put together put my head and shoulders directly in line with the main sheet which is the main reason why I built the riser keeps everything up off of your head when you're trying to sell especially when you're trying to tack and they come with a few other benefits I decided to add a few more accessories to my roll bar as a lot of people know I like to fly old glory and also I fish at nighttime, so I include a, a 360 light, LED light. Instead of adding a bunch of joints and reducers trying to get down to half inch pipe, I merely drilled a hole through one of the, right, the uh, crossbars here, put in some Gorilla two-part epoxy and glued it in place. The little T up here is removable. It's just so I can add the ion camera. If anybody's wondering, the hawkas are really pretty simple to put together. Just requires tape measure, a saw, and it did take quite a few clamps. But they're solid and can hold me. The hawkas are very solid and they hold at least 220 pounds. You can configure them on either side or you can put them all on one side. If you put them on one side, it makes a nice deck area where you can stand out there and throw your throw net without any problem at all. And if the waters aren't too bad, seas aren't too rough, you can still stand on one haka and throw a decent sized throw net with very little difficulty.